Uh, they did it again. <laughs> right in the middle of the video, I always duck up my head. Anyway, it's your boy, Serge Dragon. I'm back. It's been a week, and I figured, hey, why not make this a Tuesday thing? Why well, making this a Tuesday thing? It's another update on WWE and all things wrestling. And I'm with my boy, Terrence Menifee again, the man of puppies. Yes. And he likes Jerry Lawler when he said puppies back in the day. Yes. He loves his blondes. Oh, yeah. His favorite right now? It's Trish is Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus? Yes. I thought your flavor of this time around, this generation, what, is just Mandy Rose. There you go. Girl who teamed up with the Mix Max Challenge with Gold Dust. A Gold. So, after last week, we already covered what we you said for the shakeup mm -hmm. for SmackDown. But the yes. thing is, this time around yesterday, also, today is the 24th of 2018 mm -hmm. in April. And last week, it was all screwy for what his update on Raw was, but it was correct. Everything he said was correct on SmackDown. We had um, we had Jeff Hardy, the biggest surprise, with the United States Championship come to SmackDown. Mm -hmm. We had Asuka. We had uh, Samoa Joe. We had Sanity mentioned to come. We had uh, The Bar. Mm -hmm. All that and more were all confirmed. Unlike Raw, there was just... Spitballing, and again last week they were saying Baron Corbin drafted to SmackDown. Yep, he's drafted to Raw. Who the hell? He felt who like, the hell? He felt like he should have been uh, stay on SmackDown, and they're also saying that uh, AJ Styles was, was rumor. Well, there's a rumor going around that AJ Styles is gonna go to Raw, but he stayed on SmackDown. Yeah, you were saying that they were. Saying he was because he was backstage at the time. Yeah. So that gave everybody, Ooh, AJ Styles is here. Eh, wrong. He's, he's on SmackDown still. And, ooh, nut shot from Shinsuke Nakamura during that match. And a big boot to Kaz, who was also mentioned coming to SmackDown. And that was correct. Yeah. So, wow. Tonight, though, we got to see how... Ms. TV makes his return to SmackDown with special guest Daniel Bryan. How the hell? Did... I know that's not going to end pretty. What do you think? Oh, yeah. But what they what I read, there's another guest who's going to show up. Ooh. ooh. They, for what I heard, there was going to be big cast. Crasher. I'm going to guess it. He's crashing the party. Anyway, though, uh, other than that, Raw this week? Interesting. Because they put, they had their, Stephanie McMahon gave Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens their own show. Really? Yeah. I saw this coming. <sighs> nah, but those two still got some great brute sized balls. Yeah. Telling Shane McMahon, as well as Jinder Mahal, how things are going to run. Uh, yeah. Nope, he's... Threw that across, and they both ended up losing. Uh, good point. I thought this was going to happen when I found out. What was his name? The guy who teamed up at, with the uh, Jaden Jordan? Chad Gable. Chad Gable. Chad Gable is on Monday Night Raw. And I thought that they were going to put him back together. Nope. They confirmed that he's going to be a si singles competitor. Which is going to be interesting. Maybe you'll have a wardrobe change since it's not the Olympic style no more tag team. So we'll see how that works because we know this guy can lift two guys two times his size combined at the same time and suplex both of them. That was interesting to see. This guy is an athletic. Did you see uh, who he? Did you hear who he was going to fight on Monday Night Raw? Jinder Mahal. Yes. And he got a win on him. Congratulations. But uh, Jaden Jordan is injured. I thought yes. Jaden Jordan might have been transferred to SmackDown for all we know. But uh, that's yeah. not the case at all. So, other than that, what I am interested in is knowing that Bobby Lashley is now on WWE Monday Night Raw. Just like EC3 is on NXT. But here's the thing. Both of them came from TNA Impact mm -hmm. as heels. Mm -hmm. They left as heels and then it came... Well, EC3 is still heel. He still talks trash. Mm -hmm. Bobby Lashley is just like 
he was when he left WWE, and now he's the same when he comes back. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I like heel version of Bobby Lashley better because he tra talks trash because yeah. he can back it up like Brock Lesnar, which that's a dream match in itself. Bobby Lashley, MMA wrestler versus UFC fighter, MMA wrestler, Brock Lesnar. That's, that's a we, dream match. Let's not forget Bobby Lashley was a former champion in WWE. And they teamed him up with Brock Strowman mm -hmm. against those two idiots. That was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> did you see what Braun Strowman did? Yeah. Kevin Owens and Sami yeah. Zayn, he was wrecking them back and forth like a powder ball. Yeah. Except he was the ball and they were the racket. Bang, yeah. bang, bang, bang. <laughs> yeah. I like what I like what Booker T coming to Michael Cole said Booker T just flipped his pencil with a T Rex drop kick. Uh, that was a, a surprise to me that they took out Coachman and put in Booker T. But see, I like Coachman is sick. That's what they're saying, or has some sort of something else going on. I don't know. Yeah, but see, I thought and he twittered. Good luck to them. Yeah, I saw that. That's true. When I went home, and uh, later news, I have not caught up with. 205 Live since WrestleMania, so I'm going to try and do that soon. But otherwise, NXT, I just caught up this weekend, and dude, 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 I'm going to say this first. I'm going to say this first before I cut to the chase. Okay. Um, courtesy of what's going on on NXT, uh, they didn't give Nikki Cross to SmackDown mm -hmm. with Insanity. I mean, insanity, it's not Insanity, it's Sanity. For all four members, they just got the three. So the reason why we found out is because we didn't think about it. There's so many people from NXT going to Raw and SmackDown. We have uh, on NXT on Raw, we have Amber Moon, uh, Luke Ga uh, Galloway, Drew no, Galloway, Drew Galloway. Well, not but on Saturday he's back as Drew McIntyre. D that's true. That's what he's better known for. Yeah. But everybody else knows him by that name <laughs> everywhere else. He made a name for himself worldwide. And uh, Arthur's a pain. Um, there's just so many. Uh, no way, Jose. No way, Jose. No way. I hope he gets some airtime. Uh, and Ascension went to some, uh, Raw. Yeah. I don't see it doing them any good if they didn't get enough airtime on SmackDown. Yeah, but see, the, that's they, going to even further their career. I know what bothers them, and I know they probably will agree with, it, with me if I, if I say this. Uh, they're, not get, they're not getting a push in WWE. I uh, hope they will. On SmackDown, though, whoo, we got... Who else did we get? We got, we got uh, Iconics Australian Women. Yeah. We got The Sanity. We got... I'm, I'm trying to remember all of them. Samoa Joe. No, 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 no. Yeah, but from NXT, they got... Oh, oh we got that, that NXT champion with that girl... Who y'all probably don't know. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got the uh, it, it, that Spanish dude who I, I'm bad with names, people. I'm bad with yeah. names. Uh, Estrada? Yeah, something like that. And that girl, I don't know if y'all remember her. She also was in TNA as Rosita. Oh, yeah. And in the movie of Five My Family, she plays AJ Lee. So we got so many people coming from NXT onto Raw and SmackDown that they couldn't give Nikki Cross because of that. They're just... Throwing out so many names that they have to replace it and give more of a push now for those who are still in NXT. Mm -hmm. Take, for instance, uh, one pet peeve. You don't watch NXT. Yeah. I do because oh, yeah. I got into it when I heard about Samoa Joe versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah. I've been watching Japan Wrestling, not of late, but it's in my DVR box, so I got to get to that. But um, here's my pet peeve. On the pre-show of... NXT TakeOver New Orleans or Philadelphia. Philadelphia, that's the one. Mm -hmm. I get my mixed up. Uh, Drew McIntyre said, I keep saying go, go away or whatever. McIntyre said that if whoever wins that match between Estrada and Alex, Alexter Black, yeah, yeah, he was going to get that title back, the NXT title, and get his revenge on Estrada. So Estrada's on SmackDown, and 
uh, I'll keep Tank Galloway. Uh, Drew is on Raw with Dolph Ziggler. That's because they know each other. Yeah, no, no, no. It's not that. It's just, what the hell? So, all that talk, all that smack talk, and now, oh, we have a change of plans. We're going to separate rays. No more fighting. Thanks a lot. I was looking forward to that, that ass whooping. Mm -hmm. I was looking for that. Estrada getting his ass whooped by the Celtic Dragon, as he calls himself, McIntyre. <sighs> but, good news. And big surprise, they changed the name. Thank you, WWE. Everybody, all the fans were calling out their name. Guess who's on NXT? And clean house. There was a match between these Italian rich spoiled dudes. I don't know their names. I'm not well acquainted with them. But I do know because I saw their debut. Uh, heavy machinery. They're all about weights and stakes. They're big heavy dudes. They're funny. They're, they're powerful. And all four of those guys just got wiped out by one team that made their appearance. I knew they were coming when I saw them. I when I saw them in one uh, takeover Houston. I saw that. You know what they are? War Machine is an NXT, but they're calling themselves War Raiders. Hmm. These guys are huge. You've seen them in Ring of Honor and Japan Wrestling. They have multiple gold, tag team gold, under the waist. They're, people are saying they're more famous than the Duggan Boys. And that is a challenge to even testify. Pun intended. Pun intended. Brother Devon. People have their own opinions about, uh, they have their own opinion about that. Dude, have you seen this hairy freaking guy jump off the top rope match on a leg drop? And he does cartwheels. That guy is big and he is limber. I mean...